Chad Evans. Certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Boy, since Friday, the storms are tracking much farther north than the numbers are indicating. And even tonight, the storm track is shifting northward. We've got rain, believe it or not, into southern Michigan. And the heavy snow band but that looked to be down about right here last week is way, way up here in northern Michigan. This is where the six-inch snow band is going to be. And we even have some rain tonight falling in Chicago. So we're being bathed in mid to upper 30s air and here's the center of the low pressure. You see this little spin right there, this comma shape in west, uh, west central Illinois. And of course with this track like this, it's going to keep any frozen precip largely north and northwest of the main track. But it is going to bring rain and you can see the rain coming up from the southwest here and it's going to be with us into the overnight hours. So with the drains clogged with snow and probably a third of an inch, 35 hundredths of an inch rainfall, some ponding and just kind of a nasty drive tonight if you work third shift or if you're headed out in about early tomorrow morning, you can see some of the heavier rain moving off to the northeast. There's the rain moving in. It's a cold rain at that. Newton Jasper, Pulaski, Benton counties. We had a little light freezing rain here in Pulaski and Cass County earlier, but again, the freezing line has worked off to the northeast. It's all rain now and light rain moving into Lafayette, Attica, and Delphi, and it's going to be near Frankfurt here soon. But this is an Alberta clipper that could bring snow by Thursday. We're going to have more on that here in just a few minutes. With the main outlook, let's go through this and kind of detail what's going to happen over the next few days. Any ice has changed to rain now. The temperature will rise into the upper 30s overnight tonight. Rain will end tomorrow morning. Then there could be a little light snow tomorrow morning and then a little light snow later on in the day. Doesn't look to be a big deal. There may be the grass whitened a little bit uh, as we get into tomorrow night. And then we'll watch that Alberta clipper with snow later on in the week. Again, the freezing rain has eroded. It's purely rain from here on out. Steady rain at 4 a.m. Rain pulls away early tomorrow morning. There may be a little light snow as this ends in our northern counties. And then for the afternoon, especially late in the day, there could be a little light snow for the evening commute and certainly into tomorrow night. That's 10 o'clock, some light snow around. But Wednesday, any snow will be confined to the northeast with a little bit of lake effect. Then we watch Thursday. This looks like uh, this could be a substantial snow event. And the way things are going right now, uh, with a more northerly track, the way each storm has been progressing, we may get into heavier snow. Let's track it. Wednesday, there's your lake effect, 25 and breezy. Here's the clipper right there. This is Thursday. Notice the heavier snow band, St. Louis, Vincennes, Indiana, Louisville, and Cincinnati. Now, the models are all pretty consistent with this, but like we've seen the past well, really weak here. We've got a big upper level ridge in the Caribbean and Eastern Atlantic, and that's tending to push the storm track a little farther north. So what could happen, like the system did tonight, this may shift northward. And my thinking is, boy, the way it's going, it probably will. And if that happens, it's going to bring the heavier snow into our area for Thursday. That bears watching. Snow ends Friday and certainly Saturday. just cold and breezy with highs around 18. And notice the storm track. Again, with the upper ridge off the east coast, the storm's going to track right here, then off the coast. It's that ridge pushing the storm track to the north. So like I said, it may help to pull some of this heavier snow northward. This is preliminary Thursday snowfall, one to two Lafayette and Frankfurt and Atlanta, one inch or less Remington and Winnemac, two to three Crawfordsville and Perrysville. But again, like I said, that may shift north. Tomorrow, a little morning rain, perhaps a few wet rain and, and snow showers around noon at 33, falling to 28 by five o'clock with some light snow. And then it just gets cold. We're in the teens after that snow as we get into Thursday. This Thursday event does bear some watching. We'll have more tomorrow. All right, more snow. That's what right. I wanted to hear, yay! That's all we get around here, yeah. <laughs> we dodged this one, though. That's good. All right, thanks, okay. Chad. And